Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week, I've got another recipe for you. Um, I really like recipes lately. Um, but, so it's just like a cook with me chat kind of video. Um, because I just finished work, well, a little while ago, maybe an hour and a half ago or so. And little monkey is just trying to have a nap. So I need to... What I want to do, what I normally do, is try and make some lunch and things for the week. Um, and really trying to stock up my freezer to help me more since, you know, I do work um, quite a lot of hours. And if you're not organised, well, you guys know what it's like, then it's just absolute chaos. Um, so I am just quickly now going to tidy up the kitchen. I need to repack the dishwasher and then what I'm going to do is prep some lunch for the weekend. I'm going to make a big pot of butternut squash soup. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do enjoy it, then don't forget to, to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So let's get to it. currently looks like it's clean but it's not like tidy and it more or less stays like this most of the time um, we normally tend to just declutter at the end of the night but I'm happy with that it's functional you know it works if you are interested in my cleaning routine for the week then comment down below and I'm willing to do that video I just do like a couple of jobs every day and that just keeps my house functional. Now that doesn't mean that my house is perfect because by no means is my house perfect at all. Some weeks I don't get to do the things, it just depends what I'm doing that day, but more or less I do try and have those things done every day between me and my husband and my lovely mother-in-law helps sometimes, so, because I do have a cleaning schedule up in the kitchen. So, let's get on with the soup. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what I use for this recipe already pre-cut and chopped everything up last night all you'll need is I've got one onion chopped in there and two garlic bulbs I've used four tiny little potatoes I put potatoes in mine I don't know I just prefer it that way and one whole butternut squash just um, roughly chopped then some salt I just got some normal table salt pepper and then I am going to put coriander in mine. Um, I'll try that out. We'll see how it goes. And then one whole jug of stock cube. Now I just used three or four um, veggie oxo cubes. Now you can use cream and all sorts with them when you make, you know, soup. Um, especially butternut squash soup. But my husband can't really have that. Um, he can't really eat a lot of cream and things so this is how I do our soups what I'm gonna use today is um, and this is an absolute life like lifesaver as a working mum is as well as my slow cooker I have a multi cooker and most of the time now are soups I make in there because um, if you're a working mum or even a mum of you know you've got kids running around and things um, I tend to sometimes forget I've got stuff on the stove when I get busy and I'm burning it. With that, with the multi cooker, I don't have to worry about that because it automatically goes on to the keep you warm setting. I'll show you. So this is what mine looks like, and it's just like really like cheap one. I think this one is about thirty pounds or something, but it's just great and it you can steam. I you know all the different settings got white rice on there you could stew soup you know you can fry things you can even make yogurt and pasta now the pasta and the rice is quite good because my husband always complains he doesn't know how you know how to cook properly so he can just do it in there you know and it's great 
it's done you don't have to think about it you don't have to think about it burning or anything like that you know you can go on and um, see to your toddler and come back and it's still being there so this is most of the time we use this we use the soup and the stew setting the most and the frying but if you don't ha have one I highly recommend that you get one this is just a simple Wilco's um, brand and as you can see if you look closely you've got like on this if you're steaming things you know got fish your meat your vegetables and the same with the stew side so everything is properly cooked in there the only thing is you cannot leave um, you know this thing like with a slow cooker where you can leave the house um, you do need to stay in but I think the soup takes about um, 40 minutes or something like that and it automatically goes to the keep warm setting and then you've got nice warm soup in 40 minutes and everyone can just help themselves I really just find that great um, up here you can see there's um, where the steam comes out and everything as well and mine just has a little clip and you just open it mine doesn't come off because obviously I just have a cheaper version like I said this is just um, the Wilco version but I'm really really happy with it it's so good such a time saver um, especially when you you know you've got if you're making lots of meals or maybe two course meal or whatever your whole stove is being used then you've got a backup to do things so anyway <laughs> enough of me faffing about my multi cooker even though I love it let's get on with the soup so first thing I'm gonna do is take my onion and I have put about a teaspoon of oil in there. I've already plugged it in. I am going to put my onion and my garlic in there. I am also going to add my potato. And I am also going to add my butternut squash. And then I'm going to get some spices. I'm gonna do some salt now I never measure salt because you know everyone's got different tastes but I like to just put a little bit and then afterwards you can just season it some more to taste oh, nearly all the pepper fell on, fell on the floor then oh, that, oh might be a bit too much pepper good thing I like pepper some coriander just a little bit and what I'm gonna do first if we go down here is I want to fry it so I'm gonna press my fry setting and do it and then I'm gonna, here's the decrease and increase. I'm going to lower it so it only fries for 10 minutes. And you'll see it flashing. And when it starts actually frying, it will, the numbers will stop flashing. So like that. So in 10 minutes, I will come back and I'm gonna put my stock in and then put it on the actual soup setting. I'll show you guys that in a minute. All done. Lovely. So I've just fried it for 10 minutes and that's what it's look, what it looks like. Now I'm gonna add my stock. Try to make sure it covers everything. Give a little stir. Then I'm going to close it and put it on the actual soup setting and I'm going to lower it time to 40 minutes and it should start in a minute and then after that I've got lunch I will come back and show you guys the end result so I will see you in 40 minutes right so this is what the soup looks like guys i just blended it so after the 40 minutes i literally just took it out <laughs> and then just blended it so it's really yummy right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video this week and if you did enjoy it then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel sorry someone's not very happy are you no she had a short nap so she's not very happy so I'm gonna go spend some time with my baby. So till next week. Bye. Can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Oh, good girl. Bye.